I have no idea. But anyway, Crutchmer and Real set to go here. Real in the red for Team Illinois. Feeling Cadet National Champion in Greco Roman at 152 pounds. Was second here last year at Cadets. Was a two time state champ at Washington High School. Had a real impressive performance at the junior duels as well. While well, Kyle Crutchmer was second in the Fila Cadets, and Greco will wait above Real. So a couple of these guys uh, wrestled pretty well back in Akron in April. It was a 2010 state runner up for Tulsa Union High School. Folks might know that high school, the same high school Jamal Parks, currently wrestling at Oklahoma State, attended. Just to draw some inferences on who's gone where. 45 gone by, period number one. Our referee for this match is Nick Kindred of California. Our judge, Dave Gilbertson of Washington. And Billy Wood of Idaho taking time away from his videography to chair this match. So we appreciate his efforts in double duty here for the finals. Yes, I did. So a uh, quite a Western feel in the officiating crew for this match. Seven seconds to go till we get to parterre. In this case, we're scoreless, so Red will be in the top position and must score. The lift, there goes Real, tries to throw Crutchford to the mat. We have a leg foul, what is that what we got? We have a caution, we have one. What do we got? We got one confirmed for the lift. Okay, so one point. Lift point, some of the fans from Oklahoma don't like it. I personally like the call, having never met either of these gentlemen. So Real gets the point for a lift appreciation. Could not finish the throw, but did execute it well enough for the officials to say that's a point for proper technique and the appreciation of the lift. And back to action. The Illinois fans by far have been the most spirited throughout the Greco-Roman Portion, well, fans meaning wrestlers, um, with the chants of whatnot, and I'm sure you'll hear it. Should real win this match, even if he doesn't, I think they're going to chant something. We almost had a rubber chicken sighting earlier in the tournament as Maryland had a finalist, and every time they have a national champion, a rubber chicken gets tossed onto the mat here in Fargo. But Val Rouser made sure there were no chicken sightings on raised mat number one here in the dome. 35 gone by, period number two. Washington, Illinois, and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, doing battle here on mat number one in Fargo, North Dakota. Minute gone by, arm spin attempt, rather sloppy by Crutchmer. Now Crutch, we're trying to push the action on the edge and get the push out and real circles back into the center. Good mat awareness there by Mr. Real. 15 to go till we get to parterre. In a scoreless situation, Crutchmer will be on top in this scenario should we stay that way. Oh, I don't know if we are or not. It's gonna be one point blue confirmed. And you hear the Illinois Boo Birds. Of course, no matter what they would call, I'm sure they were going to say something to it. So Real will be down. Crutchmer on top, and Parterre does not need to score. Having scored offensively by virtue of that push out. Nick, 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 Nick,
get 30 on the clock. Okay, go ahead. Better reset the clock before we could start. And we come up to neutral position with 11 to go. Real needs to score here or go to the third period. Crutch were trying to avoid it, and a real trying to gain some position with seven seconds to go. Snap it on the head. Crutchmer defending, pushing away, and we will go to a third period. So 1-0-0-1 as we go to the third. Underway here in the third period. 13 seconds in, we get a stoppage. Referee says, uh, -uh I can't do that. Forty-five gone by here in period number three. Each wrestler has won a period 1-0. Technical points are even, so if we go scoreless for the next 37 seconds, we'll have a flip. Or if you're familiar with it on the international level and overseas and our senior level events, the ball draw. They still flip it here. Five to go to get to Parterre. Very little action here in this period. And it's gonna be a flip. And drum roll please. Comes up blue. So blue in this case has to be on top. Has to be on top. If you have more technical points, you have choice. If you have one one, and you win the toss, you uh, necessarily win the toss, but now, uh-oh, uh-oh, Crutchmer looking to throw. Real goes over, he's gonna get one for the appreciation. And it is confirmed, great reverse lift by Kyle Crutchmer. Now Real trying to get that body lock with 18 to go. Gonna need to go for the home run here, 15. Actually just needs one, trying to jack it up. Crutchmer expanding his base, nine to go. Real. Four, goes to throw, doesn't get anything out of it. Time, he gets one at the buzzer. One at the buzzer, two blue, wait, 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 two and one. Wait to see the confirmation here. I'm gonna go to the review here, okay. Billy Wood over there gonna take care of it. We're gonna review. I will walk over and see what the thing is.
Well, judging by the loud noise by the Illinois fans, Dylan Reel scored the takedown. There was time on the clock on the video review. So he scores the last point and wins the title. Here comes a somersault back handspring. Uh, I, I, or whatever, round off back. I give it about a seven or seven and a half on the uh, I mean, Perkins backflip earlier. Uh-oh. Nice job. 